Hi you guys, I come to you guys today with a cup of tea and a bout of randomness. So I don't really have anything to talk to you guys about because I didn't reach my exercise and goal of last week so I can't announce progress on that. However, last week I did get a visit from my relatives who came to visit us from Detroit and I did participate in the Bout of Books Readathon 10 and I read a total of five books, which you guys can see in my video on my other channel, which I'm really excited about. Sorry. But, I was really excited because I was able to finish those books, and now I finished one more because I started another readathon that one of our Reagan on Peru's projects mentions, and I was able to finish... Another Country by James Baldwin, and I've been reading this probably for like, I want to say three weeks or so, so I'm excited about finishing that, even though it sort of made me crave a summary light read because it's so dense, and it also it has a lot of violence in it, which I didn't realize when I went into it, but I'm planning on filming a review for this this weekend for my other channel. But I decided to get me back into the mood of exercising, which you guys all know my favorite exercise is going to spin class, which I love even though spinning is not for the weak or the faint of heart. I have decided that I need to find myself a theme song. And when I say a theme song, what I mean is I need a song that will pump me up, something like Eye of the Tiger, or something like a Beyonce remix smash mashup it would be amazing I agree but I feel like I need something to really just pump me up and get me ready to exercise and have a good time because if I don't I sort of feel like I'll be going into the spinning class at the gym and I really will get my butt kicked by all of my elders who actually ride alongside me and who are much faster at biking than I am. So, I have a few selections here for you guys. First one. The joints live happily, dropping a little bit gory. We didn't just change their story. A little bit naughty. Or there's my second choice, the ever powerful, the infamous Beyonce, a song from her. I have a few favorites, but I'll go with the most recent and the most current. Or, I can go with choice three, which will be a alternative song, a song that really gets you going, that pumps you up, something like this. I can do a Shakira song because I mean she always dances in her videos and when somebody's dancing in a music video it sort of makes me want to dance so I was thinking if I put it on my iPod 
and I have the Shakira song and she's singing. I'm going to think of her dancing. I'm going to be like, yes, I'm going into spinning class and I'm going to ride the bike. That ass. So, what about this song? I can choose to get crunk before I enter the gym. Take all my cares and leave them on the other side of the door by choosing a rap song. And when I say rap song, I mean the type of song that really infiltrates your blood, that you forget the words and you're just listening to the beat. So yeah, there. before we start the discussion of whether or not rap music is crazy or not, We'll just leave it at the fact that it really gets your blood going and it is the best workout music, especially if you want to go to higher heights and you want to go to your maximum potential and really just get that aggression growing in your brain. It's the best way to go. So what about this song? You know... Maybe I should just keep those selections to myself because I feel like I don't have enough of the edited versions that I can find online to share with you all, even though the clean ones are in my library. So, I'm just going to say that out of all the choices, I'm really leaning toward more so of the alternative ones. Because I sort of feel like they gradually build you up and they don't give you that energy all at once. And when you go spinning, a little secret that everybody needs to know about going to spin class is that you can't start off with that full burst of energy because halfway through the ride, if you start off with a lot of energy, you'll be kaput by the end of it. So you have to start off really like close to middle ground but not high enough where you're already overextending yourself. So I'm thinking about doing an alternative playlist. And I would love if you guys have any selections or any choices that you want to pass along that you tell me about them in your next videos. And any of you commenters, I would love to hear what you guys put in your workout playlist. And I also want to tell you guys, I am not the best dancer nor am I the best singer, so all the clips you saw were in fun and just in jest. I didn't mean to offend anybody if they got offended, and I didn't mean to make light of anybody's musical taste. But it was nice talking to you guys, and Karina, I hope you have fun meeting your boyfriend's parents. Molly, I wish you and your mother the best of luck, and I pray and hope that you all are okay, because those fat diets will get you every time. Trust me, I've seen it happen to the best of us. And Carly Rae, please, please, please be careful on your bike, because I don't want to be minus a vlogger or a friend. I have very few to begin with and losing you on a bike would just be sad. So make sure that you're always wearing your helmet like you were and that you don't um, take the camera. I think they have like these little stands you can get for your bike or for your car if you're ever going to vlog in a car. I've seen other vloggers on YouTube do it where they like put their phone camera or their camera camera into the stand and like it faces their face so they can focus on the road that way you'll be safe and you can do really cool stuff with the vlogs so i'll see you guys later and it was nice talking to you guys and i look forward to next week's videos